Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Grief Drums, and welcome back to another video of Top 3 Tips of the Week. As the name suggests, this is a video series in which I break down three tips each week to hopefully help assist you in your game. If you want to get involved, please submit all of your tips and tricks to my Discord, include pictures, videos, anything you have, and hopefully it'll make it into a future episode. The link will be down in the description below. But without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump straight into this week's tips. Number one is going to be that Clash can not only soak claymores from the front, but she can also soak them from behind when the shield is on her back. This is going to be really, really strong for jumping out and trying to take those people out that are on balconies and stuff like on Skyscraper. She can just soak this Claymore. Now, it does seem a little bit temperamental. I don't know if it's actually intentional or whether it's a bug. Because when she does this, sometimes she takes about 50 damage. We've actually succeeded in getting about 20 damage on certain occasions. If you vault out and then move forward away from the claymore, you actually take less damage. Uh, as well as if you are crouching or standing, it really does vary. But you can actually do this standing. It doesn't actually seem to affect you at all. It's really powerful and could be really, really strong. If you hear a claymore going down, the attackers think they're safe, and they're really not. Tip number two for this week is going to be over on Clubhouse. These main stairs, a lot of attackers like to try and push them. And you can often uh, see defenders rotating back down them every now and then. So, I saw this in a Macy J video. This was a really, really nice angle that he was holding. And he managed to get a couple of picks from it. Now, whether you're an attacker or a defender, if you open up the floor with a shotgun just here, or a small section of the floor, and then look down through the bar, you can look over the top of this section just here, which basically gives you a line of sight down onto the stairs. It is a really cheeky line of sight. You get a really, really good view. You do need to be careful of the window just behind you if you're defending, because if the attackers know you're there, they can take you out reasonably easily. But look at that line of sight. You can clearly see anyone rotating, and they just don't really stand a chance because they've got too many angles to cover. They've got to look down the stairs. They've got to look up behind them. It's a lot of angles to try and cover at once when you're trying to move down a set of stairs. So this can be really cheeky. As I say, Matey J got a couple of picks with it. I would definitely advocate trying this out and using it. As a defender, this is going to be really handy. Tip number three for this week is going to take us over to Consulate. Downstairs near the archives, you've got this section of boxes and white pipes. And it's an area of the map that a lot of people try and hunker down because it's quite safe. What I'm going to do is go ahead and chuck some head height and some crouching height bullet holes just so you've got a line of sight. But, you know, calves often like to hide down here. You get Echoes, Maestros that are trying to use their drone. It's quite far away from a lot of objectives, but look at that. Looking through this drone hole, you can clearly see both of those lines of bullets. So if that's someone crouching down there, that's their head taken off. Now, the really interesting thing about this is Dom was helping me out with this, as you can see him down there. I can see him. I can aim directly between his eyes. He cannot actually see me because there is just a pixel for him. So it is really, really effective. It's just a dirty line of sight. Now, I will be honest, this is going to be quite situational. You're going to have to chuck a drone in there and see if someone is there to start off with. Then again, you could probably just have a quick peek through there at the beginning of a round and see if anyone's hiding there. I'll go down and uh, show you exactly where it is and show you the line of sight that I get back onto Dom. He, you can see his head is a lot higher than those bullet holes that I made. And the line of sight you get onto them is just so clear and obvious. But this is me standing, I can see through there. If I'm crouching, he can still see me at this point and I cannot see him. Anyone that's hiding down here, you're going to really ruin their day. Whether you're attacking the archives or not, it's probably worth just having a quick look, checking if someone's there, if they are, taking their head off and uh, putting the odds more in your favour. Now, because this is the 10th tips and tricks video, I am going to go ahead and chuck this one in there. This is from Coconut Bra, so full credit to him. Go and check out his videos. Hit the link to the video covering this is going to be down in the description below. But uh, as Clash, if someone tries to melee you, change off of your shield at the exact point and just start shooting. For some reason, the attacking animation still continues but it doesn't actually parry you away as a shield operator the way it normally would. And then you get that split second where the attacker is still stuck in that animation of meleeing, in which you can light them up and they cannot do anything. It's so, so good and so effective. You do need to preempt the melee. If you do it too early or too late, it won't work. And it certainly does take a little bit of practice, but God, this is powerful. I'm kind of interested to see if this works for other ops as well. So I may have to go away and do some testing with uh, operators like Monty or Blitz, because I've I've never really thought about doing this. But certainly with Clash not having a primary weapon available and you can't melee, there's not a lot you can do. This is a really interesting thing that's going to make her 
pretty powerful. Hopefully you enjoyed these tips this week. Fingers crossed they can help you out in some way, shape or form. Let me know down in the comments which tip you like the most. If you don't already, make sure to subscribe and you can follow me on all the usual platforms to stay up to date with what's going on. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay reckless and relentless. Mm -hmm.